Jim Acosta is at CNN, and you know we've got this whole controversy about Donald Trump calling Haiti and African countries shitholes, and then saying we need to have more people in from Norway. Now it's a fair question as to why he might have picked out Norway as his example of the good countries, especially given that the president largely doesn't agree with Norwegian politics, which are far more liberal. So Acosta wanted to address that question at the White House, and for his efforts, he was shown the door. Let's watch. Ms. President, did you say that you want more people to come in from Norway? Did you say that you wanted more people to come in from Norway? Is that true, Ms. President? I want them to come in from everywhere, everywhere. Thank you very much, everybody. Just Caucasian or white countries, sir, or do you want people to come in from other parts of the world where there are people of color? Jim, thank you. And uh, not sure if you can hear the end of that there, uh, Wolf, uh, but as I tried to ask whether he wanted uh, more people to come in just from white or Caucasian countries, uh, he said out. He pointed at me and said out as in get out of the Oval Office. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, you could rewind. Um, <laughs> Acosta, Trump goes out. And Acosta goes, <laughs> I didn't see that coming, getting kicked out of the White House for asking a question. And just for a second, we're gonna go on with how Acosta got kicked out. And this is not how a democracy that believes in the First Amendment and freedom of the press is supposed to act. But also on the substance of the question, I, I, I want people from everywhere except Haiti, all of Africa, El Salvador, and I can go on and on. The countries that you called shitholes, you said about Haiti, you said, let's get them out. About Nigeria, in an earlier conversation, not even this one, he had said, why would we let them in? If they come here, they'll stay. They won't want to go back to their huts in Africa. I am not convinced that you want people from everywhere. And by the way, if you do, I got good news for you. You're the president. You can make that happen tomorrow. Strike a deal with the Democrats, have a new policy. All oh, right, you don't want people from everywhere. You just want them from countries like Norway. Gee, I wonder why. Okay, so Acosta is gonna give you more details here. Thank you very much, everybody. Just Caucasian or white countries, sir, or do you want people to come in from other parts of the world where there are people of color? Jim, thank you. Okay, so before we get to Acosta's details, I like that because Jared Jackson, our producer, always does like a Zapruder film like <laughs> analysis of what happened. Oh. <laughs> so that one was clear. Now let's go to Acosta's explanation. Uh, after that, we went into the Roosevelt Room uh, inside the White House where he and the President of Kazakhstan uh, made. Some pretty lengthy remarks, and then at the conclusion of those remarks, uh, we attempted to ask the president more questions about this controversy. And it was at that point, Wolf, I have to underline, I've never encountered anything like this before at the White House. Uh, the deputy press secretary, Hogan Gidley, uh, and a wrangler, a press wrangler over here at the White House uh, got uh, basically right up in my face and the faces of other pool reporters here at the White House and started shouting so loudly uh, that it was impossible for the president to hear our questions or even uh, see that we were trying to ask questions. It was that kind of a display. Uh, it reminded me of something that you, you might see in uh, less democratic countries uh, when people at the White House or officials of a foreign government uh, attempt to get in the way of the press in, in doing their jobs. But essentially that is what just happened a few moments ago here. They, they were so determined to block us uh, from asking questions that they got right up in our face and started shouting no questions, no questions, uh, so the president could make an exit from the Roosevelt Room without taking any questions, Wolf? It's a really serious issue, but I do have to make a couple of goofy comments. Has Wolf Blitzer ever had a facial expression? It is amazing how stoic he remains in every interview ever for the last 20, 30 years. Okay, now on to the substance. Um, the president doesn't really believe in the Constitution. Uh, freedom of the press, he thinks, is an annoyance and one he'd like to get rid of. And he said it a billion different times. He's about to do some stupid fake news awards. He is openly hostile to the press. Look, you want to fight back against press that you think is biased? That's totally fair. Trying to shut down the press, threatening their broadcast license as he did with NBC, threatening mergers as he's doing with Time Warner and AT&T. You might have different issues with that merger, and I do. But him saying on the record that he's gonna look into it because he doesn't agree with CNN, those are massive actual First Amendment issues. Now not letting reporters ask questions. That's not what America stands for, all right, but uh, I can't help it. Um, you know Trump, he was probably like, oh, President of Kazakhstan, great, I can't wait to meet Borat. You just watched the video by the Young Turks, the home of the revolution. If you'd like to get the full show, come join us and become a member, tytnetwork.com slash join.